<laughs> Welcome to Pablo and Kids! Yes! This is the show where we bring you kids who are extraordinarily talented. These are amazing kids, they are gifted. And yes, we are so blessed to have them in the pile of Africa. My name is Pablo and I'm your host. And he is DJ Kanji, also known as the fact master that will be helping me on this show. Well, we want to begin with sports today. If there's a game that I really love, it's swimming, you know? Everything they say, swim your way to success. Swimming is a, 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 a game or a sport that's not only just a sport, but it's healthy for every child out there. Uganda, we are gifted to have Jaden Keith. He has represented Uganda in many ways, and we're excited to have him on the show. But before we invite him, let's take a look and see what his journey has been like. His hands. Keith Jaden Kagumaho. Swimming as an exercise is popular as an all round body developer and is also particularly useful in therapy. For Keith, it's more than an exercise or therapy, but a passion that has led him into competitive swimming championship competitions. Swimming is the most beneficial way to ease muscle pains and aches and to alleviate stress. Swimming also helps to relax and improve cardiovascular fitness. A true swimmer must be capable of working harder and getting better with time. Swimming is not meant for feeble minds. It is challenging all the time. You must prepare yourself to lose the game while simultaneously trying to defeat your enemy. Keith knows this very well and that explains why he practices every single day of the week. His biggest inspiration is his mother who always inspires him to carry his passion forward. He has a passion for swimming. And that's one thing we do with him. We've done this for, I think, since it was like three years. Uh, when I noticed he had interest in swimming, I, I kept taking him to the pool every Saturday and Sunday. So uh, people would be like, hey, this kid is so good. This kid is so good. Why don't you put him in a, in a club? So I think at around five years, I decided to put him in a club so he can do competitive swimming. And we have been at this for the last five years, we have done competitive swimming. Uh, Keith loves to swim. Keith loves the water. Um, we do this every day. We do training every day with him. I take him to the pool. I sit and watch him do his thing. And also what motivated me to do swimming for him was he, had, um, he was asthmatic. So I thought, uh, I realized that if someone is asthmatic, if uh, the chlorine doesn't do you bad, you can swim because it also uh, helps you on your health. So we've done the swimming basically for his physical fitness, for his health, and that has reduced on the asthmatic attacks that he could have had if he was not in swimming. So basically, what I can say, he does love the sport. He does other sports besides swimming, but I think swimming is his number one because he also loves to do basketball, he loves to do, he loves to do football, he loves to do chess, we've done that. So we've had a handful of these. So he's kind of a sports person and I'm motivated every day when I wake up, drive him to school, drive him to the pool in the evening. So we do this every day, every day, Monday to Friday. So basically that has been key. We've not won so many medals, but we at least won a medal, I think, at the recent national uh, swimming competition. And it was a really big breakthrough for kids. It made him happy. He was so proud of winning a medal. And I believe we shall win many, many more medals, even as he grows into swimming. And he has to work hard. With swimming, you work hard, and it's about you. It's not about any other person because it's an individual sport. So you work at being your best. So every day he tries to work at being his best. And swimming is about your time. How much time can you beat? Keith has found his world and entertainment beneath the water. 
he feels free and alive under the water. Let's meet 11-year-old Keith. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome with me, Jaden Keith. Yeah! Hey, Keith, good to see you. Yeah, you're a good swimmer, huh? Wow. So, do you also swim in the bathroom? Um, no, hey, I don't. You don't swim in the bathroom? Yes. What do you do? You just bathe like, shh. Yes. Ah, so, uh, I see you, lo do you, you love swimming. What's your favorite stroke? My favorite stroke is freestyle because it's one of the fastest. Freestyle? Yes. Ah, what of the backstroke? Uh, I like it somehow, but not that much. Ah, so um, who's your favorite swimmer? I have so many, but the top is Michael Phillips. Michael Phillips? Yes. Michael Phillips. Phillips, Phillips, Phillips. Phillips is a bulb. Uh, no. Yeah. There's a bulb and also a swimmer. And a swimmer. Oh, you like, from which country? Um, from the US. Ah. You love him, he loves you, he's a, he's a, oh yeah, I think I know him now. He's an Olympics gold medalist. Yes. Ah, so what do you like about swimming? What I like about swimming, it's a fun sport and, and, and also it's, Helps me with my asthma. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. I, I know people who have asthma. Uh, it's good for them to swim because it, it's not only therapeutic, but it also helps them recover. Yeah, that's very good. And so it helped you um, be good at it. So where has swimming taken you? Um, it has taken me for national National Swimming Galas, that was one of my recent ones. Oh, how did it go? It went fine. That was the first time I got a medal. Oh, congratulations, my man! Woo! You got a medal? Yeah, now, do you know that we can use it as collateral to get a loan in the bank? Yeah? We can use it, not so? Yes. Uh -huh. So, uh, apart from that, at school, do you have are you in a team, a swimming team? Um, no, I'm not. Uh -huh. Because... Covid came and they stopped us from doing swimming. Ah, so now you swim just on your own with um, with your siblings. But I'm in a team called Torpedoes. Torpedoes. Yes. Ah, the torpedoes, eh? You're always on top. Ah, uh, oh, that's nice. So, how many members are in your team? I'm not really sure. But, the number. Yes. Mm, but you're just quite a number of, of, of swimmers. Yes. Ah, so do you see yourself becoming like a national champion? What's your biggest dream as a swimmer? Uh, my biggest dream is to become one of the best swimmers in the world mm. and have almost over 120 medals. Ah, that's a good goal. Who taught you how to swim? Um, I learned how to swim when my mom used to most times on Sundays take me to a swimming pool just for fun mm. and then people would say I'm good at it so my mom decided to put me in my first swimming club mm. that was gliders gliders from gliders to torpedo ah and from torpedo to Olympics yeah so um, are there any specific things that a person needs to know if they want to learn how to swim um, I would say yes, um, you have to learn how to float mm. and make sure you know how to put your hands properly. Ah. What of drowning? You never fear to drown? No. Have you drunk some water in the pool? Yes, I have. Oh, so much. Like how many liters? I can't count. Hey. I'm not sure. Like 30 liters? I think. Hey, 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 that is serious. You know you can have breakfast. You just drink water. Hey, okay, what has been your most defining moment where you felt that swimming is the best thing that has happened to me? Um, when I got a medal in the 4x50 freestyle, really. Hey, where was that? Uh, at Green Hill. Um, yeah, that, was, that was during the Nationals. Okay, that's very good and good to know, yeah? So what advice do you have for people out there who want to, you know, 
learn how to swim, they want to be like you, they want to win medals. Is that follow your dreams and swimming is something not easy. Hey. Yes. It has challenges. Yes. Like which one? You have to learn how to float or else you will drown. Hey. Drowning, I think, is the, is the most risky thing. But they're always uh, lifeguards. Yes. Ah. So what do, you, do your friends think about you when they see you, when they see you with a medal? Um, they were happy for me and they said they would want to be like me. Ah, and did mommy or daddy take you out there after? Pardon? Did they take you out after winning? Yes, they ah. did. <laughs> That's nice. I want to have parents like yours. Yeah, so they can take me out also. Yeah? So, um, do you see yourself becoming a professional swimmer? Yes, I do. All right. And so we wish you the very best. And believe you me, you're going to become Uganda's finest swimmer. Yeah? And you represent Uganda at even a greater level than the Olympics. Yeah? It's just a matter of time. A matter of what? Time. Say a matter of? Time. Time. Only time will, will tell. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Keith. Yeah, and we look forward to having you again on the show with more medals. We'll see you when we see you after the break.